Well, here's your 2 a.m. update. Um, quite a bit of condensation. Uh, this vent, there is air moving. Maybe you can see. I can't see what you're seeing, but I think you can see down to the ground there. But I think that's not enough ventilation, just because I had some weird dreams. But it's pretty easy to um, pump air. You just go like this, and a lot of air is coming in. Um, but I think I need more of a vent than this 4x4. Four four. Um, the quilt is quite warm. generally quite comfortable but uh, a lot of condensation and um, uh, pillows great with the with the uh, flannel over it or the fleece over it so um, I'm quite comfortable I am sleeping well but uh, that's quite a bit of uh, condensation So here's a 5.30 update. Uh, bed is very comfortable, warm. Uh, the platform is stable. Uh, the, the, um, I was able to sleep. <coughs> I went to bed at uh, 10 and was awake a uh, little bit and then slept till 2 and then I was awake a little bit and slept till 5 and wake after that. Um, I'm gonna probably get a few more hours before I get up. Uh, testing at the 22 inch level, the biggest negative is when I move positions, uh, the quilt brushes against the ceiling and uh, collects the condensation water. So, um, you know, that's a real issue. I don't think I will be using it at this low level, but, uh, you know, that's why I test it. Uh, at last time I uh, took a pull and pushed the door out a little bit to get better ventilation. I can't really see. Maybe you can see how far open the door is. I'll have to come back later and look. But, uh, yeah. I also I have these side insulation, uh, side ventilation, but I gotta figure out how to keep them open. And I'll probably put one on the other side too. And I can feel, right now, I can feel cold air coming out from this vent. So, um, probably. See if I fold that up like that. Ah, splash me. It's quite wet in here. And that's the main negative. Uh, condensation is kind of normal in single wall tents. Um, so we'll see. I think having the ceiling up higher will reduce the amount of times I bump into it and also it increases the air volume in the box and uh, that might help a little bit too. Um, I've been really warm all night. I think it's much warmer in here than it is outside. I don't really know what temperature it is outside but I would guess it's in the 40s in here. So um so far, a great night. I'm going to spend a few more hours, maybe try to get some more sleep. Well, the sun is rising and it's time for me to get up too. It's a little after 8. Here's what it looks like. Vent is, vent is actually doing pretty good. You can see quite a bit of condensation right above my head. The uh, quilt has been touching that condensation 
and it's quite wet. It does have uh, water resistant fabric. So I'm going to get up and see uh, how things look. So from out the outside, everything seems to look good. I'm going to grab my quilt. So what I learned was 22 inches is too low for the flat top configuration. And the problem is condensation, so I need more ventilation. But I also just need more space between me and the, or my quilt and the ceiling. So next time I'll try it in a higher configuration.